everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Johnson, and this is not just a beauty blogger where I help encourage you with your IVF journey. Um, so today I'm just talking about when IVF fails and I've failed it multiple, multiple times and I never thought I would. And these are the things that I made mistakes about or on and I wanted to share them with you and just kind of keep it real. Um, I'm not ashamed to come forward and be like, you know what, I failed like what? Let me think, let me count. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I failed five times. So I did IVF a total of, I did IVF three times and transferred two of those. I went to Colorado and did two more banking cycles of IVF, so a total of five IVF cycles. Then I transferred two separate times one PGS tested embryo. So if you want to add it all up, I've done a total of like nine, like nine procedures, including the laparoscopy, that's 10. But I failed IVF one, IVF two didn't even make it to transfer because we did the long protocol with Lupron. Uh, um, and then IVF three, um, I failed. And then PGS tested FET one, I failed. PGS tested FET two, I failed. Yes, I have endometriosis, who knows? We don't know, who knows? I am just, I'm at the point where it's like, it is what it is, let me embrace it, let me move forward. I don't want to, I felt like I had IVF on my shirt or on my forehead wherever I walked in. Like. I have to carry this through my whole life now. Like this is just, oh my gosh, like that's all I thought about. So when you fail, it's, that's what you think about. And what happened was when I failed IVF one, I was like, okay, well let's, let's talk about, let's talk about IVF two. Like I never, I never, I never like, accepted it and thought about it and processed it. I was like, what's next? What's next? Let's pretend it didn't happen. Let's move on. Let's be successful. Like who wants to be, who wants to fail anything? No one. So that was mistake number one, that I would tell you to process it, see a therapist, see a couples therapist, do something, mind, body, meditation, whatever it is to acknowledge it, write a journal, uh, see it, believe it, okay, accept it and move forward instead of pretending like it never happened. That's what I did. I was like, it didn't happen. Let's move forward. Let me just concentrate on other things and it comes back to you. It's not, it's not a good thing. So um, let me think, what else do I, th I think that is, I think that when you when you watch see what you're ha what happens is is when you're in IVF you start like basically just consuming so much information from all the videos and all of the message boards and you're reading 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 and you get so caught up in it so you start feeling like you know it's like it's like almost like a puzzle like all you care about is figuring out the pieces and then you compare yourself to everybody else and their numbers and what they did and what happened and you know are they successful are they not successful so comparing yourself to other people is a really bad idea i did it that's all i did i just concentrated on everybody else's story and their numbers and my numbers are so much better like i should be doing so much better. oh my gosh i'll totally get pregnant before that person because like mine i don't have that problem and this and that just, it's not a good thing. It's, it's just, it's a lot of noise. So cut it all out, focus in on your journey, what you want to do, what your objective is, what your options are, and just go with it. And then the other thing is, is that I just feel like, you know, I, I want to be an example to women all over the world that you can fail, you can pick yourself back up. And if you decide to stop, like, I've, like I'm done with the journey, like there is no more journey, there's no more IVF, I've done plenty. I was, I was not willing to do anything more. Um, and I, I, I gave it, I mean, I went in like a powerhouse for four years and I did, as, I did as many cycles as possible in one year. I did five in one year. Like I did what I needed to do and I felt personally it was time to stop. So just because you fail and you decide that's it and you don't want to do anything else and there's there, that's that's it, that's okay. Like that's okay. Like we're almost like conditioned to like not give up, not give up, be you know slay it and be a girl boss and do all this kind of stuff. And then you feel like you're so depleted. Like oh I got to keep going. I have to have children. Like I'm so weird. I'm like I won't fit into society if I don't have children or if I don't adopt or if I don't do this. And I feel all this pressure. Just don't do, do what your heart tells you to do. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Like I've just, I don't want any more pressure. 
It is okay if you decide to stop and you don't adopt and you don't do this and you don't do that. Like you don't have to do that. It is okay if you want to adopt five French Bulldogs and feel like, okay, I'm, I'm good now. I have my fur babies. That's fine. And it's just, just know if you do fail IVF, you're one of thousands of women that have gone through this. You're not alone. Remember to accept it to embrace it, to go through it and really recognize it. Don't pretend like it didn't happen like I did. And then also just don't compare yourself to other people. I did that just so much and I just think it's just it's just a waste of time concentrating yourself and your husband and what you wanna do in your life. And, and just know that it is okay to fail. And I'm living proof of that, that you can make an amazing life with with things that don't work out the way you want to. So don't get down, don't get depressed. Think of, you know, just fill your life with things that really make you happy. Move on to the next IVF if that's what you want. Do whatever makes you happy and fulfills what your real life objective is. So that's all I wanted to say. It happens and it's not a secret, girls. It's okay. 